So Larry said, I went out of town this past weekend and stayed at a hotel that I had stayed at many times over the years. This time I took my 14-inch MacBook Pro M3 instead of my 10.9-inch iPad Pro. I also took two iPhones. The first thing I do when I get to the room is to connect my iPhones and iPad to the hotel Wi-Fi, usually with no problems. This time I had no problems with the iPhones, but lots of problems with the MacBook Pro. The procedure is to connect the phone or the MacBook Pro to the Wi-Fi and the web page opens in the browser for, for me to accept the service. Everything went well with the iPhones, but not on the laptop. Uh, when I enabled Wi-Fi, I did not get a browser page asking for me to accept the service. Instead, I got nothing but a note on the Wi-Fi page saying that Wi-Fi was unsecured and the MacBook Pro did indicate that the computer was connected to Wi-Fi. But when I tried to access a web page, I got a notice that I was not connected to the internet. Yeah. I tried everything I could think of to no avail. I rebooted a couple times into safe mode, no change. I removed all the extensions from my browser, Firefox with no change, changed browsers to Safari and Chrome, still no internet. I'm at a loss as to what I need to change. I'm running Mac OS 14.4.1 with 16 gigs of memory, 512, SS, 512 gigabyte SSD, and I have connected to a local community Wi-Fi with no password with no problems. This is the first time I've taken this MacBook Pro on a trip and tried to use it in place of my iPad. Any suggestions to help would be very much appreciated. I have not contacted Apple support yet in the hopes that one of you fine podcasters will have the answer. Dave, I think you have the answer. I could be wrong. Well, I've, I don't know if I have the specific answer for Larry, but I, I know what I would do if I were in Larry's shoes, which is sort of my default it's our default way yeah. of approaching your questions when they come in. I mean, if we know the specific answer, we'll, we'll, we'll answer it. But otherwise, yeah. it's here's what I would do next if I were there. So I oftentimes this happens because as soon as your computer starts to connect to the Internet, it's it, as soon as it realizes it has an IP address, it starts trying to load all of the things that it needs on the Internet. And that includes you know, your, your mail, your whatever, right? Whatever apps are open or whatever things are running in the background, it includes your browser too. Every web page these days is, uh, secured with eight, you know, we see HTTPS, we see the little lock in the, uh, in the, in the tool, in the, in the URL bar. And when you visit one of these captive portal pages for the hotel, um, the way it, the, or the way the hotel delivers that to you is it sees that you're trying to load another web page and then it redirects that page. It says, no, I'm going to hijack this lookup for this page and show you my captive portal page instead. And in a sense, that's what we want to have happen. We normally we don't like it when our browser stuff is hijacked. But in these scenarios, that's what needs to happen. And the nice part about this is. This way, you don't need to know what the magic URL is to load the hotel's captive portal page because it's going to be, you know, it might even just be at an IP address slash, you know, whatever. Like, you don't know. So this hijacking auto redirects you to the hotel's page and you don't need to know. It just says, oh, I'm going to take you there. Great. The problem is your browser, it doesn't like it when a secure page is hijacked because it sees the security certificate doesn't match with where you have been brought and it stops and that's the end of that you get a nice blank page you you sometimes or you get the, the, the <laughs> or no the, page yeah. or you get the warning that you know yeah. the, the it's unsecure or whatever right yeah. and so the way to get around this is to ensure that you load a non-secure page if in fact that's the problem and this might not have been larry's problem we'll talk about other reasons that this might happen too but if in fact this was larry's problem the way you get around it is you load a page that's not HTTPS. Of course, none of the places that we visit are HTTP anymore. Everybody's using HTTPS, and that's a good thing. So I always type neverssl.com into my browser toolbar. And as you might guess by the name of the website, it is never SSL. That means it's never HTTPS. It's never secure. It's always sent in the clear and therefore, your browser is okay redirecting to whatever the captive portal on the in the hotel, on the plane, all of those things. So that that would be step one for me is to visit neverssl.com. And 
it is always going to be HTTP colon slash slash never SSL.com. It's, it's never <laughs> HTTPS. <laughs> and yeah, and never. Apple tries to do this in the background too, right? They have, is it captive.apple.com? Do either of yes. you know what the, okay. I remember that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. PJ put it in the discord. Ah, well. there it is. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, so if you remember captive.apple.com, that also would work. Yeah, exactly. And I I think never SSL predates it, or at least in my memory, it was the first thing baked in there. So that's yeah. that's what I type, and it's easy to remember because it's never SSL. So that's one way 